Mabuhai, welcome. Thought I'd just share an update with you on the pest problems I had with my plants a few months back that almost made me quit. Uh, some of you will know that I had a root mealy bug outbreak that I feared had gotten into everything and I was literally going to have to unpot every single plant that I had. And at the time I had no materials like pot and mix or anything else to deal with that kind of issue. I'll put some footage and pictures up now of these horrible little pests for those of you that uh, didn't see them and what my reaction was like when I found them. No! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 Yeah, so yeah, that was pretty much what my reaction was like, as well as a few choice swear words. I know recently some of you have been dealing with mealies as well. I know Alex had root mealy bugs, a load of his plants as well, and Natty has been dealing with mealies also. Really are super annoying pests that just seem to appear out of nowhere. Anyway, I blame myself for this outbreak. I was always careful with any new plants I got because of pests, but I started having them, oh, they'll be okay, there's no pests in these attitude, and put them right in amongst all my other plants. And that's always a big mistake, and I paid the price for it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this outbreak started with this aloe. And this was absolutely heaving in root mealies, as you saw from the pics. And I did notice about a week before discovering this plant was infested that it just didn't look right, it didn't seem to be taking up water and the flower spike it had on it at the time stopped developing yeah, and I also noticed a strange smell coming from somewhere but couldn't ever figure out where it was coming from kind of like a rot smell and when I found out this plant was infested and took it out of the pot the smell was absolutely terrible anyway because this plant was so badly infested I couldn't just risk washing them off or spraying alcohol on them and leaving just one bug or one egg behind it would have just started all over again so my only option was to cut the entire root system off, spray the entire plant in isopropyl alcohol and wash it under a hose, making sure to get in all between the leaves and things. Yeah, then I let it dry, put some cinnamon powder on the wound and left it for several days. You can also use sulfur powder or root and hormone as well. I just filled a pot with lava rock, nothing else, put the plant in and left it for a few months and forgot about it. So yeah, if I gently take it out of the pot... You can see that it's put out some new roots. Yeah, I did the exact same thing with this gymno. This wasn't as badly infested as the aloe, but again, bad enough that I had no choice but to cut the roots off it. Yeah, just filled a pot with a bit of pot and soil, grit and some lava rock, sat it on top and left it in a shaded spot and just left it. And as you can see again, it's putting out a bunch of new roots. Yeah, what I'll probably do is pop this aloe up into my usual mix, which is what this gymno is in. I don't want its new roots getting used to growing into a 100% mineral mix, and this lava rock dries out super fast. Yeah, I still won't give these any water just yet. I'll probably wait a few more weeks to let the new roots get a little more developed. And then when I water it will be a very small amount. So yeah, I guess the moral is don't give up on your plants when they get pest problems. If you get root mealies and it's a bad infestation, don't be afraid to cut the roots off if there's no other alternative. I mean, these plants are tough, more tough than people give them credit for sometimes. And they're survivors and they'll do everything they can to stay alive. Nine times out of ten, you have to do what I've done. They will regrow new roots. But yeah, I guess uh, the most important thing is always isolate any new plants you bring in. Keep them away from your others and... Get them out of their old soil. Any new plants I get now get isolated out of their old soil, sprayed with isopropyl alcohol, and then washed under a lukewarm shower. Then leave them to dry for a few days and pot them up, but still keep them isolated for a few weeks. Yeah, I got lucky with this outbreak as well because not many of my plants share trays with others, so that limited the mealies to what other plants they could get to easily. I know as well if you have a lot of plants sharing a tray, when you water and let that water flow underneath other pots, when it comes out the bottom, then it can make it easier for these pests to get transported about, infect other plants. So yeah, just thought I'd give you an update on this and how things are going. And as you can, you can see, it's not all bad. I think these two plants can be just fine and everything else seems to be doing good as well. So yeah, thanks to everyone who commented on that quitting video back then for your support and encouraging me not to. I was a little hasty with uploading that video. But when I found these pests, it pissed me off so much and I was convinced they'd gotten into everything. This is just one of many challenges of taking care of these plants. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thank you all for your support. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Salamat pop ba'alam. Bye for now.